Hello, um, today I will be showing you how to create a new Cloud Lab experiment. I'll explain the concept of floating IP addresses and why it matters for your experiment. And then I'll show you how to extend your experiment. Um, before you begin, you should already have a Cloud Lab account. It's really easy to create one. So if you don't have one now, go to cloudlab.us and create a new account. And after you do that, you should be ready to go. So first thing we're going to do, um, experiments, start experiment. Okay, so there's a default profile which should be fine with pretty much anything you're going to do, but there are some more profiles that you can choose from. And you can also create your own profiles, but it's kind of difficult. So for now, just use the default profile. Click Next. Um, there's some more parameters you can change here, but the only one I'm really worried about showing you is the number of public IP addresses. So by default, Cloud Lab creates two routers that are connected to the external network. And for every router that's connected to the external network, it's going to take one of your floating IPs. Um, Cloud Lab only allows you to create 16 public IP addresses at maximum. So what this means is if you just keep the two default routers, you're going to have 14 public IP addresses you can assign to your virtual machines. So if it has a public floating IP associated to it, that means you can use um, an external SSH client to get into this virtual machine console. Um, if you only have one router connected to the external network, you can have 15. So just keep that in mind. The rest of these settings we're not going to mess with. And then the next page, you're going to be able to name your experiment and then choose the cluster. Uh, I recommend that you choose a name that pertains to your experiment so you can know if you have multiple experiments, which one you need to access. So we'll just do VM test for this one. Maybe you want to test some new virtual machine snapshots you're going to upload to Cloud Lab. And now there's several clusters you can choose from. What these clusters are is there are PCs that are at these universities that will be hosting your experiment. If you hover over the little green icon, it'll show you how many PCs are available at this cluster. Um, down here, there's one where it's 94% of the PCs are taken, so you might not want to create your experiment on that one. Um, advanced options, uh, the experiment duration can be at max 16 hours when you create the experiment, but after we create this experiment, I'll show you how you can extend that time. So we're going to click, oh, I should have picked a cluster. <laughs> we're going to click Finish. Now, this experiment is going to be provisioned and it's going to be created. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the experiment to create. So I'm going to pause while this is creating, and then I'll show you what you should see when your experiment is ready to be accessed via the OpenStack dashboard. And then I'll show you how you can extend your experiment. So now that our experiment state says ready, and we see these two green check marks on both of our nodes, that's how we know um, our experiment is done creating and we can access the OpenStack dashboard. Um, I'll explain this in a later video, but for now, I just want to focus on how you can extend your experiment time. So there's a create a date and then there's a date and time that shows when your experiment expires. If you go and click on the green extend button here, it will show you a box and a slider. Um, I think it's seven days. You can, might be a little more than that. If you extend your experiment by a certain amount of time, you will need administrator approval for to extend your experiment. But seven days should usually be more than enough. And then you just have to type a short explanation of why you want to extend your experiment. So maybe you've uploaded a bunch of stuff to Cloud Lab you've created a bunch of stuff that you don't want to lose because you still need to do more testing with it. So just write a short explanation like that and then in a couple of minutes usually um, your experiment will be extended and then this time here will change. So that's it. Um, that's how you create a new Cloud Lab experiment and that's how you extend it.